All right, well, Carrie's getting that cut. We're gonna check out the inside of here. I was in here earlier, and the ceiling is sweaty. But maybe we can look behind our other pieces and see what they're doing. I'd like to get, if we have time today, the OSB up on here. Um, we've got to figure out the height of our counters, which I'm sure Mr. Google Pants will tell us. Kira's going to go ahead and get a fire started so that we can start getting the sweat off of the roof. Maybe it will um, make it evaporate. <laughs> It's no longer going to be our door here pretty soon. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. But we have no wet behind this thing. That's fully dry. And there's no sweat behind this piece right here. It had kind of popped out a little bit, so there was actually air back there. Um, I chatted with Randy last night, and we talked about whether or not this was a good idea. Um, he actually suggested using uh, the spray foam to attach it to the wall. This stuff has attached wonderfully and isn't going anywhere. That side just did not want to adhesive together, so I don't know. I have this glue. I'm going to continue to use this glue until I don't have any more. I may try something different after that, but for now, we'll just, I want to trim the tops of these because I've gotten them way too snug. So I want to trim those down, but it does look like that's going to work. Obviously, we didn't get any insulation on the roof, and there is a reason for that, and uh, we'll talk about it in Saturday's Q&A, so if you want to know, show up. <laughs> Seven feet, eight inches. We are almost a perfect square. <laughs> seven feet, seven high, seven feet, eight. And I think we've decided we're putting that giant window in there, aren't we? Yes. Oh, which I think we decided it needed to be here. That's four feet, eight inches. Right there. Oh, that was the wall. That was the top of the wall. If we put it, but we don't want ourselves here, our countertops here. Can't remember what the countertops were supposed to be. 30. Wasn't this 34 to 36? I thought. Inches, so that's 36 inches, so that part will pop out. That makes another two by six up here and that would put four feet right there so if we lost an inch and a half that would put the window right there which would put a very tiny little backsplash that'd be perfect I think that'd look really nice so we'll see let's measure that I'm adding, the window was four feet. I'm adding an inch and a half. That. So this should be our our uh, window. So 
then there should be about an inch and a half here. I'm just guessing that right there. Let's see what I, how good of a guesser I am. Oh, inch and a quarter. So this is where our cross board goes. This would be our counter high. So this would be our back cross. So it'd be kind of thin, but it'd be enough. That'd be enough. And then the window. Actually, this would be our backsplash. Oh, this whole section. So that's quite a bit. That's that much. So actually from here, which would be the counter height, to here, this whole section would be backsplash. So I think that's enough. Um, that would put about an inch and a half right there going across the top of there that we can hook the window on and that would make this whole suction window I think would be super duper cool and I like I like all that height on there so now we just have to cut a four foot two four foot boards attach them in and then start with our jack studs going underneath. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. If the wind could spread your love, what if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.
We're being invaded. They want to see what's going on over here. Nosy broads. You're a loud one. Get back to work. Okay, so we put this one lines in because I wanted non-cut lines together. Um, so we flipped it around. So we have a non-cut side on the bottom and a non-cut side here uh, so that they're the most flush. So sorry if that bothers you, but it should only be a few more minutes before you won't be able to see it at all. <laughs>
that one in. <laughs> kind of sounded like it did it. <laughs> kind, of, kind of sounded like it swayed a little. I've got one more hole up top, but it's not, it's kind of bouncing on that one, but that's it, you guys, we got a window. How you feeling? I'm so excited. <laughs> So I think we're gonna come back. I wanted to finish all this today, but we're running out of time. Library closes at four and it's about three now, so we gotta head out. But we'll come back tomorrow. We'll tape up around the outside here. Um, and and then that'll be good. I got really good taping on the inside and all of the things that you're supposed to do. And I think this might actually be the first window that we put in right. <laughs> and it was level and we only had to use one little shim. Exactly. So Perfect. <laughs> that's very, very close on the sizing of around it. <laughs> but let me move this ladder and you guys can see it more than finished, a little bit more finished. Look at that. That's so exciting. So now we got to figure out what kind of siding we want to put on out here. Oh, baby Disney. What kind of siding we want out here and all that kind of stuff. Let's take them inside and show them what it looks like inside, looking out. Look at that. So cool. It's going to give us so much light. And once the window is dry and clean, we'll be able to see <laughs> a beautiful view out there. Yeah. I'm really excited. That's kind of a game changer for the heating situation in here. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be able to make the heat a little bit more. We still got to finish the other room with sealing it in, but this was a really big deal. And it will help with lighting as it well. It will help with the lighting and all of those things. So. That's going to do it for today's video. We actually started and finished the project yeah. in one video. <laughs> so if uh, you're not subscribed to the channel, we really hope that you would consider uh, subscribing. And we are having a lot of fun building up here, um, creating this homestead here in northern Idaho. And with this all-girl build team. <laughs> so give us a thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and join the journey. Bye. Bye. Testing, testing, making sure everything's working properly. I was having a hardcore conversation with Flapjack, and he just like, peaced out. I see he was that. Like, Peace out. I'm not talking to you. Is that one Flapjack? I thought the other one was. No, that one's Flapjack. The other one's hanging out inside the barn. Crooked. We did nail this side down. I don't know how we should. We shouldn't be crooked. There's a line on the thing. It's weird. Maybe it's just this isn't level. Everybody needs a rooster on their build site. <laughs> So what we'll end up doing is okay. <gasps> Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Can't do it. Farm kid at school whips out his little exacto knife and sharpens his pencil. Teacher freaks out. <laughs> All right. And she blows on it like it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> This road is slick. That girl is crazy. Yes, yeah, yes. It's a straight ice.
Yeah, I'm not going to do what she just said. <laughs> <laughs> she made it. Look at that. Ooh.